these are symptoms that are not just in our head. I know when something's off and I know when something's not right and things had not been right for a long time. What have I been doing about managing my menopause lately? Yes, I had to do some tweaking. This is an ongoing journey for all of us that are going through some form of, whether it's perimenopause, menopause, or postmenopause. When we have all these symptoms like I have, still do, and still have to manage that as life changes and life happens to us, stress levels fluctuate up and down, which affects everything in our body that is related to hormones. When hormones get knocked off by any form of stress or any changes that you have done in your lifestyle, then you may feel the consequences of some of these symptoms. There's many, many symptoms. I think over 30 or 40 symptoms is what I've even heard from other uh, doctors and medical providers. For me, I probably had most or all of these symptoms at one time or not in the past couple of years. I had to write down some of this and just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Number one, weight gain. Yeah, weight gain in the weirdest places, in my inner thighs, in my butt, in my belly fat, uh, you know, the belly, the gut, most of all. Also, hot flashes, we know, is the devil. Hot flashing for no reason, even if I'm not stressed. But what I do find out if, if I have alcohol or um, sugar, those are the two culprits of the hot flashes besides stressful moments, right? So sensitive. We're so sensitive to any kind of adjustments that the body may just feel is off or something that has happened. It could be just waking up in the morning and hot flashing immediately. What's that about? What is that about? Weaker bone density. Yeah. Weaker bone density, I'm not saying just yet. It is one of the major diseases that can happen is osteoporosis to those of us in postmenopause, and we are at a higher risk than anyone on the planet <laughs> at this time. So we have to be aware of that. And uh, I have tested for osteopenia, which is the step right before osteoporosis in my hip. It doesn't bother me. Um, I continue to exercise so that's most important is to keep up that weight resistance and weight training and to keep it regularly. Movement, movement, movement. I am aware of it so that's another symptom of mine. So brain fog. Yeah, brain fog is happening when you're trying to remember words just like I'm trying to remember words right now just to say in this video and it's just like it just escapes me it you're perplexed and you know you have some type of vocabulary and you have education and you just can't get the words out i do a lot of public speaking and i find myself totally stopped and paused just can't remember the words uh mood swings we know i i'm sensitive to everything even more so than i ever been before and it's an underlining kind of feeling that I have throughout the day that you just ignore as much as you can. But it almost feels like you can have a panic attack at any given time. Rages. <laughs> you betcha. Yeah. Go into some rages because usually I'm just getting mad at myself of something I can't figure out or something I'm trying to say or, you know, just something I'm dealing with in, in relationships or in work whatever the case is. So I may go and have, you know, a total meltdown for about 30 seconds and then, you know, I'm back. <laughs> okay, that's just nailing down all the major hormones that have happened and occurred and that I battle with on a regular basis. And so if this is something that you battle with and you haven't really addressed it uh, formally with a medical provider, I suggest, I highly, highly suggest that you do. I know there's so many natural remedies and you know, there are those that 
don't believe in utilizing forms of hormone replacement, but it's not a bad thing. It is not the boogeyman. And our body was carrying amounts and amounts of all these hormones, uh, especially estrogen and uh, progesterone and testosterone. We carry all of this in our bodies and it's asking for more of it. So menopause is the, <laughs> Uh, basically the decreasing or depletion, which is my case, of these hormones that are so specific to you. And then there's, you know, adrenals and cortisol levels. There's 13, I believe, different hormones that can be knocked off, temporary or permanent change that has happened to you because you're going through menopause. Those hormones, once they're off, if one of them is really off or two or three, and usually all can happen at the same time, then uh, yeah, we're in trouble. And, and there's no reason why we should have to suffer through it for the next 10 years, which can happen or even longer with all these symptoms. You have to function in life, right? I have to function in life. And I have a lot of people counting on me as I know you do too. And we're responsible for others. We wanna be our best that we possibly can be to be healthy, right? So it is our responsibility and to be our own advocate, to take ownership in it. And with the healthcare system, as we know, it's broken. It's very broken for women. And uh, women need to take the lead in how to manage what they need from their doctors. Speaking of doctors, I started out with four or five different doctors that I actually gone through consultations, um, trial and error, get with a good OBGYN and holistic type of thinking doctor that is in that area that can relate to what you're going through and try to work with them first because I know OBGYNs is under your insurance and if you have a good insurance then utilize them. Check menopause.org. And if you check that, uh, it will tell you in your area where there's a menopause specialist. So a menopause specialist that happens to be most likely an OBGYN or an internist. Near and dear to my heart are functional doctors or functional medical providers. And uh, they really work holistically, the whole body, right? And they look at every system in your body and work with those and correct each system to make sure your whole being is working harmonially together. So they work with a lot of supplementation as well as herbal uh, types of treatment. And then there's other things that they entail and then they do more extensive testing that I found than just the OBGYN. They'll give me the blood work and maybe a urine test, but that doesn't tell the whole story. Now, the Dutch test, which I have had videos in the past that you saw last year, that I have taken the Dutch test and worked with a functional doctor to explain uh, my hormone breakdown and where I'm at in the ranges, uh, especially with all the hormones and what it's really doing at that moment in time and what do I need to do to work on supplementation along with my diet and along with my exercise, you know, lifestyle. I had to take a little bit from each type of medical provider to really make up a real good plan for me and to adjust it along the way because sometimes you don't need certain amount levels of hormones. And so bioidentical hormones is where I went in that direction initially. And uh, there's a combination of capsules, uh, different types of gels, and even if you want patches, there's different ways you can go about it. There is a delivery pathway of how you're going to receive the hormones back in your body that you have lost. Now the rest is vitamin D. I had to up that to 10,000 units. Yeah, and some people think that's extremely high, but my OBGYNs do not. So it all combines together. Um, the vitamins, if you're deficient in other minerals, 
um, whether it be calcium, potassium, um, magnesium, very important, right, for the digestive system and to make sure that everything is flowing through. Because if we're not going on a regular basis, you know that will also affect your moods, that will affect your weight gain, and that will affect just your overall well-being. And also my green drink, which is uh, combines all these types of vitamins that I consider my multivitamin is my greens drink and that's what I get from Herbally Grounded. So that's basically it, what I'm doing these days and birthday's coming up in the next month so I want to be prepared as I continue to go along in this postmenopausal world and to make sure that you keep your youth in check, right? You know, keep your skin glowing and make sure you're giving it a lot of hydration with water, of course. We talked about water. I dedicated a video just to water and what I've done in the past and, and especially when you're trying to detox and also to really get in fit and get back in shape to where you once were or even better. I think that you will do yourself a service if you do your research on what would work for you. It's not for everyone. Some people cannot take it, just depending on their background and their family history, uh, going through the maternal line. And you have to see what works on your end for you. But at the same time, I do believe that this is my path for now. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I do get back to you as much as I possibly can. Um, if you like to see a live stream that discusses this matter as well, or if you just want to talk live to have questions answered uh, to what I'm doing specifically, I would be glad to do that in the next coming video, which is not a video. It's a live stream, right? Just remember, you can always begin again. I look forward to the next video and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Cheers.